Lisa Canning and welcome back to Blueprints for a Beautiful Life where I talk all things interior design, life design, productivity, mom stuff. Come and take a seat with me today. I'm going to talk about how you can find your family's unique interior design style. Welcome to my kitchen. I want to say special thanks to Delta Faucets Canada for partnering with me on this video. First, hydration. Today's drink of choice is Kirkland Signature Natural Spring Water from Costco because you can only drink so much coffee before you go crazy. What are you drinking? Tell me in the comments below. I just did this fun project called A Tale of Two Houses where two neighbors, two houses, two totally different styles, two totally different families, both hired me to come and help them plan their renovations. And oh my word, have we had fun. This is a whole series of videos. If you wanna check them out, you can check in the cards. I thought it might be fun to show you how the two spaces are totally different. So I've helped hundreds of families figure out their personal interior design style. I subscribe to the whole thought that we are all created unique as individuals as well as we are created unique as families. That unique family tells a really compelling story, creates their story, if you will, writes their story in the home that they're in. I always try to encourage families to embrace their uniqueness, start to articulate what makes them unique, get your interiors to showcase that, tell your story, and of course create the stage where you're gonna create lasting memories. Okay, so you might be thinking, yeah, Lisa, I want this, I wanna create the stage for lasting family memories. How do I do it? I'm so confused. There's like a million images on Pinterest. Ah, I'm overwhelmed. I want you to draw a line. At one end is modern. At one end is traditional. Everybody is somewhere on this line. Where do you think you are on this line? Are you closer to modern or traditional? Type it in in the comments below. In my experience in helping hundreds of families, um, I find that most Canadians, at least, are right in the middle. The majority of people I work with are right in the middle uh, because my personal portfolio is a bit more modern. I find I attract people um, who are a little bit closer to this side. So let me give you an example if you are still a little bit confused. So I've done these two spaces. One house was in totality a lot more modern. The other house in totality a lot more traditional. So let's see how this translates in faucets. In the more modern kitchen, we use the Trinsic. This Trinsic is honestly my go-to faucet. I have two of them in my house. <laughs> um, and I just love the minimal, beautiful form of this faucet. I love that there's no interruptions in the line, even where the spout is. It's a very minimal interruption. In the more traditional kitchen, we did the Cassidy. This Cassidy is a little bit curvy, a little bit more feminine. These details, these curvy details, if you will, the swells in the design, definitely fit in with a more traditional or transitional aesthetic. And then we did the exact same thing in the bathrooms for both of these houses. And I promise full video tours are coming of these spaces. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the alert button so that you know when I publish them here on the channel. But this bathroom, this is the more modern of the two bathrooms. Oh my gosh, there's so many things about this bathroom that I like. But let's just talk about the faucets. So this is the Vero collection. They are edgy. They are minimal. They are modern. They are more square in their details. And I just love love how they play against all the details in this bathroom. And then in the other bathroom, again, we went with the Cassidy collection, because again, this is the more traditional of the, of the two houses, softer, more feminine, just gorgeous form. Um, and again, they tell very different stories. Here's the fun thing. You could take the exact same vanity with the exact same countertop, but change the faucet and change the accessories. And all of a sudden, you have a totally different story. This is how you can make a space feel more modern or more traditional. Okay, so to wrap up this video, I just wanna give you a couple of um, fast ways that you can do this. I could go into this in great length. If this would be interesting to you, I can record a whole other video on this topic, so let me know in the comments below. But here's a couple ways that you can figure out your design style. If you're still confused and you're like, I don't know if I'm more modern or traditional, here's a couple ways. So step one, I want you to go out and collect just like so many images whether it be on Pinterest, on House, whether it be um, tearing things for magazines, just go out and collect like at least 50 um, and do it without filter, just whatever you are responding to, whatever makes your heart sore, whatever makes you spark joy, put it all into one spot. The next thing you're gonna do is group them into like 
themes. So you might see that you've been um, taking, you know, lots of images of kitchens that are white, or you are really loving bold geometric patterns, or you even like kitchens all from the same company, that kind of a thing. Find the things that are similar and group those things together. Your next step then is to give these groups words. So perhaps one of those words could be like farmhouse kitchen maybe, and the way you can find these words is in the actual, um, like the article for example, that the accompanied that kitchen, or in the words that the advertiser used to describe that kitchen. Use those, like find the words to describe these key themes in all of the images that you have found. And then finally, I want you to go test it. Test if this is indeed how you feel and how are we gonna test it? You can test it by going shopping and just going on the market and when you respond to something and you really like it, you can then go back to your words and be like, does this actually match? Like, are these like similar to the things that I saw when I was looking at magazines? You can ask sales staff in kitchen showrooms. And then finally, you can also just put these words into Google or Pinterest search engine. So literally, if you have amassed a whole thing of like farmhouse kitchen type images, um, again, like put that word into Google and see if it comes up with similar images um, that you continue to like. And that gives you a sense of the palette, the style, the materials. You can use those words as a funnel in which to um, go out and decorate and create a space that is uniquely you for your unique family. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you like this video. If you like it, I would invite you to give it a big thumbs up and to hit the subscribe button below. I'm back every Friday. And honestly, it's such a pleasure to spend time with you. Uh, designing your life around what matters most is just so core to my, um, just to who I am and I'm just so happy to share it with you. And real quick before I go, I just wanted to give a quick update. Some people have been asking how my book has been going. Um, I, if you are new to my channel, I am writing a book called The Possibility Mom all about designing your life around your greatest priorities, uh, how to achieve more work-life balance. As a mom of six um, who's been working, uh, running my own business for the last 10 years, I have learned a few lessons the hard way and I want to share with you uh, some of these things so that you are also, um, so you're able to succeed as opposed to falling flat on your face, which is what I did many, many times. So um, the book is almost finished almost finished, uh, which means that I'll have a greater sense of um, the publication date once it's all been submitted to the publisher, but I am super close and I'm so happy. Thanks again for spending a little bit of time with me and cheers with my Costco water. Cheers to designing your beautiful life.